There are so many stretch mark creams in the market, but would they really work on my stretch marks? Hey guys, welcome back to Wish Trend TV. It's your sister Eunice here. Really happy to see you guys. Now, Christmas is just around the corner. That's why we have prepared something special for you guys. This is a topic that a lot of our Wish Trenders asked us to do and to make a series for, and we are so excited to talk about stretch marks. Yes, we're gonna dive deep into stretch marks. So for those of you that have concerns of stretch marks, please stay tuned in. And for the very first episode, we're gonna talk about how to prevent stretch marks. For the second episode, we're going to talk about how to care for red stretch marks that have already appeared. And for the third episode, we're going to talk about dermatological ways to treat stretch marks. So stay tuned in with us. Don't forget to follow us on our Instagram at WishTrendTV and like this video, subscribe to WishTrendTV, and let's get started. Round 1. Basics about stretch marks. So what is a stretch mark? Stretch mark appears when your skin suddenly stretches out excessively, damaging the collagen fiber layer. Our skin gets inflated by the force that stretches out horizontally or vertically. When the force surpasses this limit that your skin can take, our skin rips and these scars are called stretch marks. This is a state where our epidermis layer spreads open and our dermal layer becomes visible. And when it's ripped by the force vertically, then the shape is horizontal. When it rips from the horizontal force, the scar is vertical. Usually stretch marks that's with vertical shape is caused by rapid growth and a stretch marks that is with horizontal shape is caused by sudden uh, gain of weight or muscles or even due to pregnancy. These red stretch marks turns white as time passes by and they become scars. Now, there are two main reasons that we get stretch marks. One is hormonal and the other one is physical. Let's talk about the physical way first. The first reason that you do gain stretch marks is because you gain weight suddenly. When you gain weight suddenly, the volume of the fat layer inflates and this can cause your dermal layer to rip, stretch out, and this can cause stretch marks. The second one is because of the growth of your body. As we go through puberty, our body grows fast and sometimes it's faster than what our dermal layer can take. That's why our dermal layer rips and this can cause uh, stretch marks. The third one is muscle gain. Not just fat, but if you gain a large amount of muscles, this also can cause stretch marks. It can cause your dermal layer to stretch out and leave a scar. The interesting thing is you're more likely to get stretch marks because of hormonal reasons rather than physical reasons. Steroid hormones can weaken our dermal layer and it can loosen up our skin structure, making it an environment for our stretch marks to be formed more easily. So how do we care for stretch marks that we have on our skin? And will the products in the market, will they be effective to reduce stretch marks? Let's find out. Round two. Do stretch mark creams in the market really work? Many stretch mark creams in the market have purified water as the basis, and it has moisturizing ingredients like glycerine or plant-based oils. But will they really help to reduce stretch marks? As I mentioned earlier, stretch marks are scars within our dermal layer. In order for us to bring it back into the original state that it was in, it needs to regenerate damaged skin tissue. And you can expect such an effect with the stretch mark creams out in the market. So it's better not to expect such a dramatic result or effect with the stretch mark products out in the market, but it's wise to use it as a prevention method for the red stretch marks. So what kind of stretch mark products are out there? We have brought some of the most popular ones. Let's check out what ingredients are in these products. The first one is, dun, da, 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 it's Burt's Bees. And this is a really popular product. So I think you guys have probably seen this before. The ingredients to keep in mind are coconut oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, soybean oil, shea butter, and cocoa butter. Do you know what these ingredients have in common? They all help your skin to regenerate collagen and they help to improve skin's elasticity. And they prevent your skin from ripping things to its rich moisturizing effect. All right, so let's move on to the next one. And this is Palmer's. And this is a stretch mark product that I think you guys probably have seen or tried because this is a really popular one as well. And if you check the ingredient list, it's very similar to Burt's Bees and it has similar ingredients like, it has cocoa butter, shea butter, 
coconut oil and almond oil. And one ingredient in here that's noticeable is vitamin E. And vitamin E, when used with essential oils, can be really good to boost your skin and to rejuvenate your skin. And vitamin E alone is a great antioxidant as well. It has a lot of anti-aging benefits to improve your skin elasticity. Actually, there are many other ingredients out there that we did not mention yet, but that can be very helpful to prevent stretch marks. And if there is a product with the ingredients that we mentioned today that's not necessarily named as a stretch mark product, it doesn't matter. It can be very effective to prevent stretch marks. The first ingredient is Centella asiatica, and it has a lot of amino acids and fatty acids. So when they absorb into your skin, it makes keratin protein to make your skin stronger and more elastic. Also, it speeds up collagen regeneration and um, it helps your wounds to heal faster, which makes new skin to grow faster. That can help with your stretch marks. The second ingredient is hyaluronic acid. I know that a lot of you guys love this ingredient. It helps to improve dry and contract the skin by moisturizing your skin. And also it can hold water more than 1000 times of its weight. And this capacity allows it to work as a great humectant for your skin to keep your skin hydrated, plumped, and firm. The last ingredient is vitamin K, and vitamin K is a well-known ingredient that can help to prevent stretch marks as well. It helps to strengthen your capillaries, it's great for blood circulation, it helps wounds to heal faster as well. Please do remember that stretch mark is a type of a scar, and uh, vitamin K is also amazing to keep your skin vibrant, strong, and elastic. As I mentioned earlier, there are so many ingredients out there that are great to prevent stretch marks. However, if you are pregnant, there are ingredients that you should avoid. Now, these ingredients are amazing generally. However, when you are pregnant, your skin does become hypersensitized or because of the possibility that it can be harmful for your baby, we do want to recommend that you avoid these ingredients. And the ingredients are Centella asiatica, vitamin E, and vitamin K. You should avoid these three ingredients if you are are pregnant. And please do consult with your doctor because the safety of your baby is the most important thing. Round three, which product fits me better? Oil, butter, cream, or lotion? What are the most important factors when you're choosing your stretch mark creams? We have a checklist for you. The first one is formula. As you're using these moisturizers every day on your skin, the formula is very important. Make sure that it delivers enough hydration for your skin to improve skin elasticity. Second one is ingredients. The ingredients are so important in the product. Make sure that the ingredients are from a natural origin, that it's safe to use, and that it will be effective for your skin. And please do check the ingredients that we did mention in the video today. And the third one is hypoallergenic. Now, if you have sensitive skin or allergic skin, we want to recommend that you use hypoallergenic products. They are free of artificial pigments and fragrances. Number four, is it safe to use? Now, many pregnant women use uh, products for stretch marks, so it should be very safe. As I mentioned earlier, please remember to avoid those certain ingredients that we mentioned today. All right, so let's figure out which stretch mark products that you should use and how to maximize the effect. We categorize the stretch mark creams into four different parts. You have oil, butter, cream, and lotion. Do you see the difference between the formulas? They have different oil and liquid ratio. Oil literally consists of 100% oil, and the oil portion becomes smaller in the orders of butter, cream, and lotion, while the liquid ratio goes up. So which one is the most moisturizing one? The answer is lotion. Some people might think that thicker the formula, it may be more moisturizing. However, that's not true. Liquid and water moisturizes while the oil creates a barrier so that the moisture will not evaporate. Have you guys heard of free radicals? Free radicals are unstable molecules that is damaging to your skin. Our skin gets more prone to these free radicals in the morning because during the morning, our skin is exposed to the UV rays and air pollution more because our bodies are more active during the daytime. The products with high oil ratio can easily become oxidized because of light. It can create uh, free radicals that is not good for our skin. That's why we want to recommend lotions or creams with less of oil content and more of water content. So it's better to use lotions or creams that soak into your skin fast, that has less of the oil content and more of the water content so that it can let our skin breathe. 
Now, second is nighttime. Nighttime is the time that our skin gets regenerated, rejuvenated, and restored. You need to add extra moisture to your skin so that it can calm and soothe your skin and sink into your skin slowly over time as you go to sleep. For nighttime, we want to recommend that you use a thick layer of lotion or cream and on top of it, use a layer of butter or oil to seal it. So something that you should be careful of is that oil can clog your pores. So for the areas that are more prone to acne, like your chest area, we want to recommend that you use lotion types or creams to prevent stretch marks. So please do remember that you should use the products in the order of lotions, creams, butters, and oil. There are so many stretch mark products out there in the market, right? We really hope that this video was helpful in choosing the right stretch mark product for you. Second episode, we're going to talk about how to care for red stretch marks that has already formed. So please stay tuned in. Don't forget to like this video, follow us on our Instagram at WishTrendTV, subscribe to WishTrendTV, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, WishTrenders!